rabbis who believed in Yeshua Jesus. Do you know them? It is often stated that no Orthodox Jewish rabbi believes or has believed in Yeshua Jesus. Is this true? Have you heard of this rabbi? What about Rabbi Dr. Daniel Zion, chief rabbi of the Bulgarian Jewish community during the Holocaust? He took part in rescuing hundreds of Jews from the death camps and helped them get to Israel and settle there after the war, but today his name is almost unknown among the Jews. Why? Because Daniel Zion was a rabbi who came to faith in Yeshua Jesus, the Messiah. In 1954, he was offered a very important position as a judge in the rabbinical court of Jerusalem, but it was under the condition that he keep his faith secret and not speak about it with anyone. Rabbi Zion documented his response, I am willing to give up any type of worldly honor for my Messiah. As soon as he said that, he was no longer considered a rabbi, but a Gentile and a traitor. However, the Bulgarian Jewish community in Jaffa continued to accept him as the leader of their synagogue. Rabbi Daniel Zion died in 1979 at age 96 while standing strong in his faith and loyalty to Yeshua Jesus. Have you heard of Shoroshevsky? Shoroshevsky founded a university in Shanghai and translated the Old Testament to Chinese. You probably had no idea that his full name was Samuel Itzhak Joseph Shoroshevsky and that he was born to a Jewish Orthodox family. He successfully completed his studies in the University of Breslau and came to the conclusion that Yeshua Jesus is the Messiah. What about Rabbi Stern, who was a rabbinic scholar known for his sharp knowledge of the Talmud? He was born in Warsaw, Poland and by age 3 was well advanced in his biblical studies. By age 9 he was reciting Rashi, a medieval Jewish sage. He and his three brothers were rabbis. He was known for his ability to recite by heart large sections from the Talmud. Later, he personally experienced anti-Semitic persecution by his Catholic neighbors, and he was saved from the Nazis clause during the Holocaust. Rabbi Stern came to the conclusion that Yeshua Jesus is the Jewish Messiah who was promised in the Old Testament prophecies. Have you heard of Rabbi Slosovsky, a teacher in a rabbinic school and the secretary of the rabbinical court of Jerusalem? He was a friend of the famous Rabbi Cook and he also came to faith in Yeshua Jesus. Or Rabbi Wertheimer, a wealthy rabbi with academic degrees who became a very popular speaker? You probably haven't heard about him either, as he also came to faith in Yeshua Jesus. And what about Rabbi Israel Zoli, Rabbi Zion Daniel, Rabbi Dr. Muller, Rabbi Joseph Techman, and Rabbi Daniel Weiss? You have probably never heard of any of them. Each rabbi, as important, great, or respected as he might be, had his Jewishness revoked from him as soon as he believed in his heart that Yeshua Jesus is the Jewish Messiah, based on Old Testament prophecies. Their names were erased from the system so that they wouldn't, by any chance, expose other Jews to the fact that there are Jews and even rabbis who have accepted Yeshua Jesus of the New Testament as the Messiah. So what is the conclusion? There were respected and well-known rabbis who believed and taught that Yeshua was the Jewish Messiah of Israel, but were erased from Jewish history in order to get away from the truth that Jewish rabbis can be believers in Yeshua Jesus. So next time someone asks you to show them rabbis who believed in Yeshua Jesus, just show them this video. For more information on the hundreds of Jews coming to faith in Yeshua Jesus, including Orthodox rabbis, visit oneforisrael.org and facingeachother.com.